Okay, a little street scene here. And I'll just start with the street. Got a bunch of different colors on my palette, so I think that works really well. Uh, just for getting an interesting wash down without it looking too bland. And I'll just sort of get in here and just sprinkle some stuff in. And I'm not going to go over my brushes or materials. I've done that in a previous video. So if you haven't seen that, um, you can check that out. That's a little too dark, so I can always uh, dilute that with water. And that's what I love about this medium. It's uh, pretty forgiving um, if you understand the characteristics of it. And you allow it to do what it wants to do. I don't think watercolor is a medium that you need to control all the time. Although I think many people do, but I, my connection with it is to have an idea basically of what I want to do. But then once the painting gets going, uh, I'm going to always yield to whatever it gives me. Um, so I always let the wash. Uh, determine uh, where I need to go next. Okay. That looks pretty good. I'm going to hit it with a dryer. All right, so light source coming from the right here. Um, so what I can do is um, get a little more color and value. And uh, we got uh, this little building here. And I'll switch colors a little bit. And then, uh, then from here, I can just sort of get, get our shadows coming across. Maybe another one uh, right in there. Now we have some trees back here, so it works for me. We've got this. Uh, this is what it sort of attracted me to this piece where these dormers and this. Uh, a red building here, so I'll get that in there. It looks like we have a little awning there, so I'm going to try to work with that a little bit. So, still a little shadow, uh, maybe like that. I'll stay with the red theme here. Maybe we have some red like that. There we go. Finish our dormers off. So kind of a green building here. And again, just some windows, some nonsense really. And on this building, just really a bunch of garbage, really, just whatever. Okay. Okay, maybe some lights on that car. Maybe there's another one right here. So a little hustle and bustle going on here. Okay, maybe um, a 
get a shadow under this one. Okay, get a little chimney or two. And maybe a little shrub or something right here. And throw a little cast shadow underneath it. I'll lift a little bit right in there. That is a terrible brush to do it with it's expensive and I've got to have it shipped to me from wherever I've ever cast it lives Australia or something like that Uruguay not cheap okay got some uh, legs there and let's go with Little friend here with a red dress on or something. Look at the suspenders. Okay. I always tell myself if I don't know what I want to do next, then don't do anything. So it's always uh, helps anyway from overpainting. We can afford another little figure back in there. A few dots, could be a little roof, something. And then let's go with a. Uh, Light post there. Maybe one more. And maybe on this side. Um, do a little telephone pole. Uh, something like that. Windows. All right, we'll hit it with a dryer. All right, let's do some shadows on the chimneys, just really to give it a little more light and shadow overall. A little highlighter too. White flowers there. A little sparkle on the roof. I don't know. 